Good morning, this is a Shaman Oracle reading for November the 3rd, 2022. And this is for Aquarius. Good morning, Aquarius. I hope you are all well. And the three cards are already laid out. One is Oracle of Fairies. One is Oracle of the Seven Energies. And one is Sacred Destiny Oracle. And I'm starting with the Oracle of the Fairies card called Magical Gateway. This Magical Gateway is about gaining enough courage and trust to venture into the unknown. And when you gain this courage and this trust, you are promised greatest rewards, Aquarius. It's time to step boldly forward, is the message. The fairies invite you to step through the fairy door and visit their world of magic and wonder. They are telling you that fairy tales are real and that you are never too old to believe in fairies. And yes, I personally agree. Perhaps you have been thinking about embarking on the fairy path. Well, says the guidebook of this fairy deck, if you are using this deck, chances are you already have more than a passing interest in the ways of the fae. If so, no that now is the time to walk through the fairy door and fully embrace your magical fairy self. That's cute, I love that. The golden key to this fairy door resides inside your heart, Aquarius. It's important to know that once you step through this magical gateway, your life will be changed. You will see and feel nature in a deeper way because you will feel more connected to plants, trees and flowers and develop a deeper compassion for all living things. You might even find yourself becoming vegan or vegetarian if you are not already. Your interest in conservation and the environment could also be highlighted. These are all traits of someone who has ventured through the fairy door. So consider this carefully. If you are at all unsure whether you should walk through the fairy door, meditate on the question until you know in your heart that it is the right thing to do. Once you have passed through the door, prepare for more magic and joy to enter your life, knowing that you are always safe, protected and loved. Now I know why I got this deck. And all other Aquarians, you must still think about if or if not, you want to walk through the fairy door. Okay? Next card is the Oracle of the Seven Energies card. And that one is called Divine Matrix. And the Divine Matrix card relates to thought and is energy number seven. Do you ever wonder how synchronicities have come together? These meaningful coincidences move life forward in ways we might not understand at a time. We can get trapped in the idea that the world is a place of separate parts with space in between because the true quantum 
of spiritual nature of reality can be very confusing. So imagine that everything possible under the sun is waiting to be claimed. You are not separate from what you desire to manifest Aquarius. Everything is intrinsically connected within a vast living web of life, a divine matrix. Even that which you have not yet observed as a part of your life experience is still connected to you. It remains dormant until you choose it and so you bring it to life. Life operates on life's terms as well. You don't live in a vacuum, so you are surrounded by a multitude of realities that were brought to life by others. These can surely affect you if you allow them to. The threat that luminous life force is that part of yourself of that tapestry of life which you can consciously weave in any direction you want. And isn't that amazing to know that such a power is inherent in you and in all of us? I think so. All miracles are waiting for you to lay claim on them, Aquarius. So, are you ready to do this? I think you are. Sounds good, doesn't it? Next card is Sacred Destiny Oracle card and the card is called Voyage and relates to the humpback whale. Humpback whales make the longest journeys of any mammal. They travel 14,000 miles or 22,000 kilometers every year. They spend the summer months near polar regions and in the winter they journey toward the equator to tropical waters. Among some native tribes, whales are considered to be protectors of travelers and journeyers as well as guardians of the sea. This card indicates that no matter what your journey is and where it takes you, you have protectors at your side. That's good to know, right Aquarius? The sacred landscape wants you to know that you should get ready because you are about to embark on a journey. It could be both an inner journey of spirituality or an outer journey to a distant land. It might be a project or an idea that is coming to life. But most certainly you travel away in some direction into the unknown. Where do you want to go, Aquarius? What have you always wanted to do or to see? This is the time to make it happen. Get prepared. Have a clear vision of what you want to experience, but also be prepared for the unexpected. That is a part of being a traveler. Remember to enjoy the journey as much as reaching the destination. I'm all for it. How about my Aquarians? You too, right Aquarians? You are also ready to take on that sacred landscape waiting for you. So that was the reading for Aquarius. Thanks for listening Aquarius. Have a wonderful day. Have a good rest of the week and maybe 
to come back on Saturday or Sunday because then I have a special short reading for all zodiacs. Okay, Aquarius, take care and goodbye.